Okay, so we're going to talk about a cost sheet and how to create a cost sheet for your clients. This is good to have if you need to go ahead and create one or at least know what your buyer needs to come up with at closing or if the seller needs to find out about how much they're going to make. Okay, so the probably the easiest one here, the fastest one is firstamericantitle.com. Uh, you can see that right here. It's just firstamericantitle.com. And basically what that is, uh, that will go ahead and take you to their website. They have a number of uh, free um, calculators here that you can use. So let me minimize that just a bit, make it a little bit smaller. So when you go to the page, this is what it is, right? You know, you don't see uh, a whole lot of crazy stuff around here. It's just the usual stuff. Now, um, what you can do is you'll see on the lower uh, right hand side here you'll see where it says tools and calculators okay let's so go ahead and click that then it'll have uh, a bunch of different calculators that you can use closing cost calculators all right is a great one this will put up under a number of circumstances that you can uh, figure out how much your buyer is going to need to come up with okay um, let's minimize the screen a little bit make it a little bit easier to see okay so I think okay cool all right so what you got to do here is at the top it already defaults to 150,000 for 30 years and so on and so forth right so let's enter in the price and the price let's say is 120,000 whoops one, two, there we go. One, two, zero, 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 zero. 120,000, right? Okay, so once we press return or enter on that, you'll see how everything changes, okay? Now these numbers down here on the left represent standards, okay? That's all it is, is just standard things. The origination fees on your lender, I'm sorry, on your buyers typically are 1%. Your appraisal is about 300 bucks. They charge 65 for a credit report. You know, that sort of thing. Okay? Let me see if we can make that a little bit bigger. All right. Now, on here, it'll give you several different scenarios. On the far right, they got a 3%, a 5%, 10%, and 20% down, or you can put in any other amount, like 50% down, let's say. Right? And it changes these numbers automatically on this side. But for your 3% down, like your FHA, something like that, what we're looking at here is the amount of loan required is 116.4 because their down payment is $3,600. The origination is 1164. Okay, the discount points, there aren't any discount points they were paying. The appraisal is 300. Credit was 65. Mortgage and title and company insurance, stuff like that's uh, 100 bucks. Estimated closing costs, they're figuring about a half a percent. Closing costs altogether, twenty-two eleven. All right. Then you figured your prepaid taxes and stuff. Remember, your your buyer has to pay prepaid taxes at least two months in advance. They have to have prepaid insurance for twelve months. Okay, which they use a national standard of twelve hundred. Then your recording fees out the courthouse about twelve and twenty-five bucks. If there's homeowners association fees or something like that, seventy-five bucks. These are just like if there was no homeowners association, you could take that out. Okay. But you could figure that this person says closing costs altogether, $1,360. The total closing costs are the closing costs up here for your, your appraisal and stuff for your financing, your closing costs for title, and your down payment, which is right here. So remember, there's three sections. You got your down payment, you have closing costs in regards to finance, and then you have closing costs with regards to the title company, the other right there, okay? And you add that all together, you can figure out that this guy's gonna need to come up with approximately $7,171 for cash required at closing. Now, his payments, okay, let's say his interest rate is going to be approximately, uh, let's say 4.25%, right? And the tax is, let's say, uh, a year, you know, 360 bucks or whatever it is, right? If you can all put that in there, except in this, this is just sort of a, um, not something that can be modified, okay? Um, his monthly payment roughly, you know, remember, 
homeowners association dues and stuff this this whole section in green can't be changed but if you remove this here then that removes the homeowners association dues if you know that his taxes um, you know they're just kind of going off annual taxes being a certain amount um, basically what I'm trying to say here is you can figure out that you know if he has mortgage insurance or something like that so 87 bucks his monthly payment about 789 okay um, monthly income how much he needs to go ahead and have is nineteen hundred and seventy four dollars a month in terms of income so you can kind of use that to help qualify him as well so anyway this is a great way to find out what a buyer is going to actually um, make um, or need to come up with they're going to, need to come up with uh, in this case seven thousand dollars cash at closing uh, that will help you determine how much you need to ask for if you need to ask for uh, closing costs so if you want to ask the buyer to pay I'm sorry the seller to pay closing costs you could say okay well mr. seller it's hundred and twenty but we want you to pay three percent towards his closing costs which is thirty six hundred dollars that helps take care of his down payment and then all he's got to come up with is the additional amount you know so seventy ninety six minus thirty six hundred dollars worth of closing costs so he comes into the house with thirty four hundred dollars thirty five roughly and the amount of month that uh, month that he has to come up with every month is nineteen hundred seventy four dollars if he's got that income and good credit chances are he qualifies so that's for the home buyer to determine closing costs for the home seller you can see on the left hand side here home sellers proceeds okay in this case the house sales price is one hundred and twenty thousand again let's say right one hundred and twenty thousand uh, let's say they owe, um, I don't know, say 75000 on their first loan. If they have a second loan, then you can put that there. And if they have any other kind of loans, like a you know, home equity line of credit or something like that, you put that there. They're going to close, let's say this is uh, March, so let's say they close April. And uh, the property taxes, let's say, are 580 or whatever, right? Uh, there's no transfer taxes here in Tucson, so we don't need to worry about that. There's no prepayment penalty. The sales commission, we're charging them, let's say, 6%, right? Uh, if there was any other kind of fees, like a 495 fee that you do or something like that, you know. But here, look, on the lower right, it just simply tells you their results, their costs, 75000 bucks, okay, um, because of the, how much they owe, right? Um, and their proceeds are going to be about 44 Okay, um, six point oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So that'll kind of give you an idea of how much they will come up with in terms of closing costs and how much they will actually make. Okay. So uh, that's a pretty good close uh, way to figure that out. All right. So the other way to do this very very quickly. Okay. Uh, is on your calculator to figure out closing costs if you're out in the field okay if you need to figure out closing costs uh, very quickly on your calculator at home or something like that um, on your computer or in your cell phone or something like that in this scenario okay it's hundred and twenty thousand all right um, and then we're gonna say minus seven point two five percent is 111.3 minus what they owe, which is 75,000, equals 36.3. Okay. Now that'll give you the down and dirty version. Okay. You figure your closing costs are one and a quarter percent for a seller, more than uh, than the actual commission. So if the commission six percent. And uh, closing costs are one and a quarter percent. Uh, then you figure that's 36.3 is going to be uh, the worst case scenario. How much they're going to make on that deal? Um, if you get down to the 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 actual figuring it out really close, it's looking like it's 44. The difference here is about 8,000 bucks. So you know it's going to be a little bit off, but it'll give you a really close idea to let you know where you are. This is absolutely the best way to do it. Talk to your title company. Uh, title Security has a good one. First American Title has a good one. Uh, if you have an iPad or an iPhone, uh, then Fidelity puts out a great app for this. Uh, it doesn't cost very much, like 12 bucks. 
uh, and uh, that's the one I personally use on my iPad is from Fidelity. Uh, so anyway, but this is a quick way to figure out what your proceeds are and uh, how much your seller is going to knit and how much your buyer needs to come up with. So hopefully that's been helpful. Go out and make a great day. Have a lot of sales. Take care.